back to art class with Miss Chris. This week we're going to do a watercolor painting and we're going to be inspired by geodes. Now the geode, it looks like an ordinary rock. It's like a volcanic rock, but when you break it open, it's full of layers of color and crystals. It's a hollow rock formation um, and it's it's made when different kinds of minerals come together and the different kinds of minerals dictate the different kinds of colors these geodes are and there's many different types and that's the fun part so I thought this would be fun to make a watercolor painting about it's gonna be somewhat abstract um, very loose very relaxing and what you're gonna need today is a pencil, a pencil only for a second. So any kind of pencil. You're gonna need some salt. I'm gonna try this sea salt grinder that I have, but if you have like uh, just regular salt, that would be fine. You're gonna need some paint brushes. Actually, this one right here is my favorite one for this project. And a water. And that's it. So let's get started with our geode watercolor abstract. Here we go. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and this is where I need my pencil for, this is the only step I need the pencil, is I'm going to make the outside layer of the geode, which is usually very dark. And my color schemes are gonna be like blues and greens and golds. That's what I'm picking. But you can pick different color schemes, You, but you wanna pick like three colors or four colors that work well together. So here, let's look at our. Um, so blues and greens work really well for types of geo colors. The reds and purples and magentas, pinks, that could also be a color scheme for geodes. You could tie this in with a, um, a brownish red for some depth and darkness of color. Um, you could always go into the yellows and the oranges and um, maybe some of the brighter reds too. But I'm gonna stay in the family of the greens, blues, and then I'm gonna add a pop of gold in it as I work myself through this piece. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly draw jaggedly. This is just going to help me know where my outside is of this geode. I'm going to draw a big, it's going to look like a big rock, which it is. This is a bro. This is like taking this rock and, and splitting it in half and looking inside and seeing what's inside the rock. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna play a lot today. It's kind of, it's actually super relaxing to do these. I'm going to take my brush and just put tons of water on it. And I'm just gonna go on the outside of this line I drew. And I'm just gonna fill it with tons of water, like a lot of water. Now the thing with watercolor paints, it's really great is the watercolor paint will only go where the water is. So it's only, it's gonna stay. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So I'm gonna go all the way around, lots of water. Okay, there we go. So the first colors I'm gonna start with, cause I want it really dark. I'm gonna mix black, black and blue together to get the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna put it in the blue and I'm gonna add water to my blue paint. So it's a really dark, rich blue. And then I'm gonna take it and watch how fun this is. I'm gonna take it with my paintbrush and I'm just gonna line that outside edge. of my pencil, now you won't see my pencil anymore. I'm gonna go all the way around and you can see the color that I made just kind of bleeds into the water and we want that. So this is gonna be my outside edge, really nice and dark. Okay, 
Okay, and then after I do that, I'm gonna have a little fun. And I'm gonna, oh, I can't do this part. Uh, I'm gonna just move. I can't do it because I my paper's taped to the table, but bear with me, I'm gonna try. So I'm just gonna move my colors like this and kind of let it move around a little bit. And I'm gonna just play. This whole thing, making these geode watercolors is very playful. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with a, another layer, okay? So I'm going to leave that um, and let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna go back into it in a little while. And I'm gonna give a little space and I'm gonna make another layer of water. And sometimes um, it bleeds a little bit. I'm trying to leave space in between these two layers right now, this next layer. But sometimes I hit it and it kind of bleeds and that's cool too. The next layer I'm gonna do is a turquoise green color, okay? So I'm gonna take that turquoise and I'm just gonna drip it in there. It's gonna let it do what it wants. Um, I'm gonna add now some blue in that, like above it. And just let these colors kind of blend together. It's a very natural process. That's the thing I really like about watercolor. It really has a mind of its own. It's gonna do whatever it wants. So then I just move my paper a little bit. Um, at this point, I really wanna get that outer edge to be super dark. So I'm gonna go really heavy with the black and just a little bit of that blue. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more darkness just to that outer edge. I want it super dark because I want it to be like the outside of the rock that you're seeing, so very dark. At this point, I'm gonna do something I want this to feel kind of like crystals, okay? So to give it that crystal look, I'm just gonna, I'm just breaking, or you could add a little bit of salt. You don't need a ton of salt right now, just like a little bit. You can hear it cracking. And what happens is when the salt hits the watercolor, it absorbs the water and it leaves like a crystal looking appearance. So we want that, because that's just gonna add to this. Okay, all right, that's about it. Now I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going through this. So my next color in my geode is gonna be a gold, golden color, like a golden yellow, which is right here. This is a real like kind of natural look, and I like it with the blues. So I'm gonna get it nice and wet and juicy. Um, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna add water all the way around, leaving a little ring of white. We're gonna come back in later with that. So like I'm going around it, but I'm leaving a little bit of a white space in between that green color you see. Okay, nice circle. And now we're gonna go and shoot some gold in there. Real, see, real natural look. Like, I really want this to feel like stone. And I'm just gonna put that gold into that water. And just let it move. Now, 
next to that gold, I'm gonna get a really dark, dark color. I want like a really dark blue. Not with like black, and maybe I'll add a little black in it, but not too much. See, black is tricky, because it can take over. But I'm gonna touch right here with the blue, and I'm gonna let the blue and gold just kinda mix together. Creating another ring of a geode. Just gonna let them mix. Let them do whatever they want. That's the fun part. Just, and see how it like blended in here? I'm just gonna let it do that. So that's the nice thing about this um, type of painting is it's just all about just being natural. Letting the watercolor take you on a journey. All right, so I like that. I'm gonna um, break a little salt in it. Be careful with the salt because sometimes when I watch students make art, they get a little carried away with it. Like they put too much salt and um, then it doesn't give the same effect. So a little bit goes a long way. All right, so I'm gonna go to my next layer and once again, I'm gonna leave the white ring. My water's getting pretty blue right now, so it's supposed to be clear, but it's, it's full of blue colors. I'm just gonna go with that. Now this next layer, I'm gonna go into my turquoise. I'm gonna bring that green back. I'm gonna go in that circle. And I'm gonna go into my turquoise. I want more green in this piece. So I'm gonna come through and just let that green dissolve into that water. I'm gonna get some of that gold. I'm gonna add it to the green. on the outside. I'm not like putting the gold like in the middle of the green. I'm just kind of like making, kind of like making circles of colors is pretty much what I'm doing here. And just letting it blend together. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Um, I feel like I need um, another ring right now of a dark blue. So I'm gonna get my real dark blue and I'm just gonna kind of play with it right here. Just a skinny little line of it. Natural. Nothing's perfect, nothing's a perfect circle. Just moving through like so. All right, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a really, really, really dark center of this geode, it's like the inside of the dark crystallized formation. That's gonna be in the middle here. I think I'm gonna do one more thin layer um, before I do that. Something, a thin little layer here. And then I'm gonna get super dark in the middle. Um, I'm gonna do a layer of like a lighter blue. Getting a light blue now and I'm kind of Letting it dissolve to that. Maybe time for a little sprinkle. You have to put the salt in when it's wet. And you don't wanna paint over the salt because that completely gets rid of the effect you're looking for. So just let the salt dry on the paint. All right, so the center, I'm gonna go in here with wet now, water. It's gonna be, the center is gonna be super dark. Kind of like the darkness on the outside. So I just added water and I want this to look super natural. So I'm gonna get black and mix it with dark blue. And I'm just gonna tap. See, I'm just tapping. Just tapping that dark with that black blue, dark blue, and just tapping. 
just I'm letting it do what it wants to do. It's kind of seeping up here and that's okay. I don't have full control. You never have full control of things when you're doing watercolor. It's kind of the fun with it. Just It's just gonna do what it's gonna do and you're just gonna let it and you're gonna work with it. There you go. Nice dark center. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle my salts into that center. I want it to be really crystallized. And I'm gonna let that, you can already see how the salt is splitting the paint and dissolving it. And when this dries, we're gonna take the salt off and it's gonna give a really cool effect. I'm hoping it gives the effect of the crystal. Okay, so to finish this, I'm gonna get light, light blue. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of go through where some of that white is. I could leave a little white, but I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of dissolve it up over here. You could actually just add water. Just gonna kind of go through the white areas, leaving a little bit. I want the lightness. I want you to see the rings because that's part of the geode and the formation of it. I'm gonna go lightly through the edge. I'm gonna kind of dissolve this up. It got a little too heavy. Um, I'm gonna go around the edge now. I'm gonna go really thick. Now to get a thicker look with the paint, you're gonna mainly, it's not gonna be a lot of water. It's gonna just be like a lot of paint. So I'm gonna go around the edge and look what I'm doing to the edge. I'm going back and forth. I want it to be, feel like a rock, okay? So I don't want it to be soft. I want it to be like jagged, like a jagged look. There we go. This is blue and a little black together, just around the edge, going really jagged, like a rock. Look at this thing broke. We broke this thing open to look inside and see this formation. You can buy these geodes. You can buy slices of them. Um, they're really cool. I don't have one. I, I used to, but I don't, I can't, I don't think we have it anymore. I don't know what happened to that thing. Now I want another one. All right, so I'm going back and forth, really jagged, okay. I, um, I kind of like that gold too. I wanted to add a little bit more of it. So I'm just gonna lightly, with just the very tip of my brush. I'm gonna bring the, a thin layer. This is really juicy right here. Just a thin layer around. Super skinny of that real natural color, because I like that. It makes it look real, bringing in that natural look. All right, so, um, Maybe one more little layer of this light blue. Like, I'm just gonna like kind of put it in this wet, juicy area of the dark paint. Right here. Just let it kind of dissolve, create a cool, natural rock look. It's a super relaxing. A um, little bit of salt. Now, to finish this, I get a little gold paint. Now, this, you don't have to do this step. This is only if you have metallic paint at home. I went in my garage and I found it. I just found some gold metallic paint. And I thought this would look really cool right on the edge of my piece. So I'm just gonna be real thick about it. This is like thick acrylic gold paint and I'm just gonna put it on the edge. Now this is, if you, a lot of you are not gonna have this, okay? But if you do have a little metallic, it looks cool. Ooh, whoa, I'm getting a little crazy with it there. I'm gonna put it right on the edge my piece. 
You could let this dry and actually make some rings with this gold too in, um, in it. It's gonna go around the edge. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It could just be part, part. I like it without the gold too, um, but I just found this gold and I thought it'd look cool around the edge. You could use silver. You could use bronze, whatever. Whatever metallic paint you could find. And if you don't have it, as I said, don't worry about it. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, abstract geode painting. Um, hope you have a great week and holiday break off and see you soon. Bye-bye.